clock Back at home, came up out that uniform And threw on my new sweats New sweats, new sweats Uh, working hard Got two jobs, Friday night But thank you Lord, there's two checks There's two checks, two checks Yeah Game of spades, bid a flight I'm talking ten straight books You got damn right, now who's next? I'm off my table Who's next, who's next? Yeah, huh? I don't dance a boogie, somebody tell a DJ, put on my song, we grown and we want a two-step. We want a two-step. Uh, that's, that's, the the that's the new flex. That's the new flex. Yeah, two-step to this, two-step to this, two-step to this, everybody come on. Uh-oh, I don't know if y'all can hear me. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Worldwide Crypto. I am your host, Dragon Rider, and uh, I am having... Technical difficulties today. Uh, let me <laughs> try to uh, uh, take this back, uh, fix my camera. Uh, hopefully, you can still hear me. Um, today is a Metapolitan's uh, AMA. I'm having technical difficulties a little bit right now because, as you know, uh, I do have a full-time job besides this, and uh, I'm in a hotel. <laughs> so um, we're going to go ahead and bring them up. Let's welcome uh, Don Shadden and Marlux to the screen. What's, what's up, up fellas? What's up, everybody? What's up, Dragon Rider? How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, man. I'd be doing even better if uh, <laughs> if this Hilton Wi-Fi is uh, <laughs> would be working properly. But it is what it is, and you know, uh, luckily we had we at least have sound, so that's always a positive. That is, that is, that's good. So yeah, so guys, uh, if you want to, just go ahead and introduce yourselves and uh, like titles and uh, pretty much how you got started into. Uh, how you got started into crypto? Okay, I can start. Uh, my name's Don Shadden. I started in crypto nearly a decade ago. I was trading mostly big tokens. I broke into this this crazy DeFi space, uh, these, these low cap gems. I broke into this space probably three to four years ago. I found it extremely fascinating. I, I love researching. I'm, I'm a very resourceful person, I would say. And so it was just a lot of fun. I, I guess you mixed a little bit of gambling, right? A little adrenaline rush, uh, although I'm pretty conservative for the most part. Um, but m mix that with, you know, uh, chasing, down, uh, chasing down information, trying to figure out what's, you know, what the, what the dev team is up to, if the project's really going to build. Uh, the business elements of it, the marketing elements. I loved that. I kind of tried to wiggle my way into some of the team, you know, some of the team chats or at least do my part in the communities. I uh, used some of my Web2 marketing background for that. Uh, I kind of was noticed by some teams um, and they'd, they'd bring me on kind of the inner circle, kind of not really, you know, but getting paid for shilling, uh, getting paid to help them with the social medias. Uh, I, I thought that was great, but I've definitely always wanted to build my own project and, and something that I could be proud of. Um, I, I, I met these guys, this team, uh, a few years ago. Uh, we've, we've been developing this project for about, you know, um, I've been talking to them for over a year about it, uh, and we've been building it out around that time. Um, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm extremely excited about this project. Uh, we'll, we'll tell you in a, in a few minutes how it differs from all my other past experiences, or at least, you know, 99.999% of them. Um, and, and yeah, just happy to be here. So that's my background. That's awesome. That's awesome. How about you, Marlux? Yeah, uh, my name is Marlux. Um, I've been in crypto a little over three years, so not too crazy, not too long. Uh, I always tell everybody Shiba Inu is really what started my passion with crypto. Um, you know, when they lost five zeros in one calendar year or even before that, where, you know, where we, we you started hearing about the people who made millions of dollars. I, I heavily started pay, paying attention to crypto and investment became a hobby. A hobby became a passion. And of all the projects I've been in, all the cons that I've seen, you know, I wanted to create this project. Those cons turn into pros, meaning transparency, integrity, um, Utility, obviously, with the project itself, utility, use case, right? And um, giving it a standpoint of longevity. 
too many times, you know, we've all been in crypto projects and, you know, they said we want to do this and we want to do that. And a lot of times some of the projects, you know, unfortunately just fail due to funding, due to uh, development. So, you know, with Metapolitans, we want to have everything done before launch, our main use case done before launch. And we did that. You know, uh, we created uh, a metaverse. It took the good portion of eight months back and forth with our metaverse development team going over different modules and aspects of the metaverse. And then right now our beta is live and on it. I couldn't feel personally prouder of what uh, the team as a whole has put together. So um, here I am, you know, I've, I just moved back to America. Um, I was overseas military for a long time, got a background in supply and cybersecurity. Um, so we want to do something different. Here we are. Happy to be here. All right, Matt. Matt, that is amazing. Uh, and, and you know, it's really great to, to that people should understand that uh, you you have been in the uh, the crypto world for a while. You know, you haven't just started here and said, "Hey, you know what? Let's make something." You know, <laughs> you know, you've been here for a while, and also with uh, with the main utility. Uh, it, you, you're not waiting for to, to hire developer. You're not waiting for launch to hire developers to to get this thing going. You've already got a working product that is in beta right now, and uh, that will be uh, you know before uh, before long uh, uh, public. So I mean that that speaks uh, volumes, and that should speak volumes to any uh, potential investor in this project. So, uh, uh, so what um. So why, uh, why, why this type of, why a metaverse? Why not, you know, cause a lot of people are doing like wallets and this and that and, and stuff. So why, why the, the route of the metaverse? Oh, the metaverse, the metaverse. Okay. If you think about it, the metaverse gives you different, gives you a different aspect of virtual reality. It also creates different streams of revenue slash income. Uh, meaning a project is not dependent on taxes to survive i.e. marketing wallet, et cetera, right? You know, within the metaverse, the metaverse has its own in metaverse revenue, in metaverse marketplace. And our metaverse and what we're developing um, with our Stargate will can transmute any person into, uh, let's say we're working with Project Cola, just as a random example. You wanna go to Project Cola's marketplace or if they have a metaverse or uh, even to their Telegram, you can go through the Stargate into Project Cola. So uh, that's just one small example of uh, what a metaverse can do. And also uh, doing AMAs in the metaverse, doing meetups in the metaverse, um, you attract you know, institutional people, you attract corporate people, and you have billboards and branding. There's so many different things that you can do. And then, you know, and not even talking about, you know, the, the token itself, and just as far as the monetary value of the token, you know, as far as the market cap goes. And once we introduce, you know, the alpha down the line, we go, you know, the NFTs become encompassed, you'll be able to transmit your, the NFTs that you create, you can transmute them into the metaverse, right? And then obviously they'll still work on an outside entity like rarities, et cetera, or, yeah, man, absolutely. That's great because you know, um, I, I, to 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 go back to one of your points of saying, you know, that that this metaverse, that the metaverse itself is is more than just uh, you know, it, it it's more than just a token. It's not dependent on the token because it's already a product itself um, that can generate revenue. So uh, with that, I I saw in you know in some of the clips and some of the pictures and stuff that you have um, uh, that there's you know, like various banners and stuff like that. So uh, we'll. Will that potentially be some some ad space that would be uh, rented out or could be uh, maybe even that ad space could be purchased for others to maybe kind of uh, take part in that that building that 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 uh, kind of, you know, just side hustle revenue stream. Oh, for sure. And it's, you know, it's not potentially it's actually in one of our phases. Uh, we already uh, our developers already have that ready to go. Uh, we're just trying to uh, basically coordinate that. In conjunction, first the first thing and foremost is security, safety and security. We're not going to put rush anything, do anything that's going to uh, jeopardize any of our investors within the metaverse. Uh, metaverse is a little bit different, and even myself with cybersecurity background um, than what most people are used to. There's so many different intricacies 
different coding that goes into it. So you need the beta to get all that data back to you to make sure everything is done the proper way. Uh, so back to your question, oh yes, and not just billboards, but shops. You can, uh, people will be able to hold shops. People will be able to buy, um, you know, uh, build stuff as well too. Like, hey, you know, I want to build a little farm over here. That's something that we can do also. And that not only that, it bridges communities. When communities are bridged together in one space, uh, you know, you've heard the term. There's more than enough uh, space to eat for everybody to eat in crypto. And I'm a big believer in that I don't believe in yes. um, yeah. notching any other project. You know, every project you know has what's made that project, especially teams that are out there grinding and communities that are grinding to keep their project alive, to push their project to the next level. Uh, we're we're hoping to bring an aspect there, a space for them as well too, that will boost them along the way. Okay, okay. So uh, a question to add on to that. So uh, you, you you mentioned uh, shops and this and that. So what would um, what what what's in place to kind of entice people or businesses to uh, come to the metaverse and sh set up shop? Well, uh, off the top of your head, how many live metaverses are you aware of? Uh, maybe about. About five <laughs> that, that, right, I, that right. I've been in, you know. Right. And of the five, majority of those are blue chips, you know, um, teams and projects has been around a long time. So now we're giving the people an opportunity that you can come to a, a metropolitan city early and, you know, hey, get your property, get your revenue, get your billboards and whatever it is that you want to advertise, you know, uh, go from there. You know, we are played in Met, remember, as a primary function. So you, as you go around, um, you know, you'll be able to come up with uh, rare traits, things for your avatars that you can send directly to your wallet, that you can then decide if you want to tr trade it within our marketplace, or if you want to keep it, if it's a legendary item, or if you want to sell it on an outside entity. So you, you're having all those aspects key into one. And then again, with the Stargate being able to bridge the communities, uh, it's going to be something different. Oh, all right. So let, 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 let's let's just dive just a little bit deeper. So you said said this Stargate. So are you talking about, um, you know, maybe merging different uh, be, being able to have access to different metaverses or is it just uh, different uh, sections of the island? Because, uh, I mean, a lot of people, if you don't know, part of the lore of this metaverse is it's built on an island and, you know, there's there's plethora of of activities and things that that will be coming to to uh that's exciting and and we'll be able to build and of course the community stuff like that but um so what exactly is this stargate because my, my mind is going to like ready player one scenario right now yeah similar i mean ready player one give gives everybody a good concept of what virtual reality is or could be right um, but Stargate, actually, the idea came, you know, similar to the movie Stargate, where there's a portal that will basically, you know, is coded to go wherever it's connected to. So in the future, when we do partnerships with different projects and, you know, they want to bridge, again, that's bridging communities. You want to go into that uh, sphere, you'll be able to go through the Stargate to that community. Oh, man, that is so exciting. <laughs> Wow, man, that is so exciting. You know, especially when when I hear partnerships, when I hear collabs, you know, that lets me know that you guys are, are you know, really in this for the long term because nobody in this market is going to be able to survive on their own. I mean, you would have to have like almost a, a endless amount of funds to to be able to to power all of this by yourself. So, you know, when you are are you know building these collaborations and partnerships and stuff like that, that bringing in those extra communities and stuff. And uh, like I say, introducing your communities to their communities. And, you know, it's so, it, man, it's this thing that goes full circle and it can spread a lot faster in my, in my opinion. Exactly. Um, and, you know, it's, it's about having an idea, having a plan and following your, your plan. Obviously, contingencies happen. You know, secondary uh, alterations happen and that's totally okay. Being prepared for it as much as possible, I believe, is a, is a big part of um, development. Um, and not everything is doesn't need to be, for example, like this weekend, um, I actually have a meeting with a, a martial arts dojo, right? And, you know, I, I actually tried this before, but it was from abroad. This time it's in person. Um, I'll be meeting with the dojo in person, you know, talking about his sponsorship, 
where all the students at the martial arts dojo, you know, uh, will wear our symbol on their gi. And when they go to tournaments, they'll host our banner, et cetera. And that brings so much notoriety to the project, um, not just for investors, but for the kids as well, too. You know, I, I look at that as a form of giving back. And I, I think you need that in every space. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and, and, and so with with uh, the like the building of these partnerships, I mean, uh, what are you going to be requiring? Uh, because, I mean, I'm, uh, there's a lot of devs that 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 have their own little metaverses and stuff that actually watch the show. So um, what would be kind of your um, you know, I, I know it's a lot, lot going forward and everything, but what would be kind of your basics of of, you know, what you would require to to have a partnership with with Melopolitans? Uh, first and foremost is transparency, right? Uh, the, the more the most the more transparent you are, then the more your integrity shows face, right? Um, personally, I like to see good communities. It doesn't matter how successful the project is or not. That's relevant. You know, a lot of pro sometimes projects try their best and they don't ever reach the goal that they get to. Just like the old notion, uh, uh, practice makes perfect, but nobody's perfect, right? So yes. you, know, you 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 grind, you grind, you grind to get to a level, you know, where where you look around and you know you you're happy of your accomplishments, and, and so that's what I look for when a project, when a partnerships, and and vice versa. If I want a partnership with a company, I expect them to to vet me, you know, check my credentials, check my integrity level, and that's why here at Metapolitans we're so transparent. We literally on on, on a big whiteboard all the cons, and we're not going to name the project that I have been in, yeah. you know, whether small cap, low cap, whatever, all the cons were on a whiteboard. We, I literally took those cons and I put it, plugged it into Metapolitans. And maybe in the future, somebody will find a con with Metapolitans and do the same thing with their project. And in, in essence, we're still making the space better. You know, it's like fine tuning, you know, over time. Hey, I, I man, that is music to my ears. When you say, uh, you know, when, when you say transparency, that I mean, that is so needed in this space. Uh, I don't I don't care whether you're a gaming platform or you have a metaverse or you just a token. Transparency is key in this space because, you know, people are tired of the rug pull. They're tired of the scams. They're tired of just the BS that comes along with um, with with crypto. And, you know, especially with regulations and stuff coming down, you know, you need to have that transparency because, you know, especially when you're talking about building partnerships, you know, um, that transparency leads to, to, you know, are you conducting business properly behind the scenes? Cause like, like I say, not, not the public doesn't need to know everything, but you know, as far as business and business partners, you need to be operating efficiently and you need to be operating properly as a business going forward to survive. Could agree more. Absolutely. So, um, all right. So, uh, we did, uh, the, I, 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 and I really like the fact that you guys are, are really involving the community in a lot of these decisions. And it already that is, that, that has already shown that you listen to your community, especially with, uh, the presale, uh, coming up. So, um, it started off at, uh, it was a th uh, 30 ETH and you guys raised that. <laughs> so why, uh, why the specific number? I think it was 150, right? That's correct. Uh, well, so, you know, we, 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 we took analytics, right? We took simulations, which, you know, I always tell everybody I, I do my own as well together as a team. Um, and we looked at other projects that were had similar goals that we had. And now we took like, what is our what is our personal goals? What are we trying to do? We converted that into monetary allowance. Right. So now we have a dollar figure of what we want to do. Now you scratch that or you underline that now you you know you hyphen what you have to do by launch so that gives you your dollar figure for the revenue that you need generated so um and you and you also have to create put an asterisk up there as well because you have to make sure it's reality okay is this reality is this, is this accomplishable so yes you take all those variables out of it and then you know you're like okay we're gonna raise the the cap up you know we there's things that are concurrent like our servers, uh, like the um, retainer for the metaverse devs, you know, uh, basically watching all the beta, collecting all the data. So you, you you take those retainers as well too. And we're confident with the 150 that we put for the cap, that that's what we need to 
continuously push the project. And that's not a, that's not what we've already done. The metaverse we already paid for. The metaverse, you know, honestly, uh, costs about three and a half times more than what I was initially told it was going to cost. So yeah. uh, kind of, a, I wouldn't say a setback. It's kind of a good thing that it happened. They gave us more time to truly build out our phases, to truly build out what we wanted to do. Um, because, you know, it's not a, it's not one month, right? It's not one week, yes. it's not one day. You have to start at a year minimum. If you're not, if your project is not starting at a year minimum, then the, I, I personally believe their intentions are not for the longevity of the project. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> see, that's what I see that, that when you are dealing with people that, um, that have been in the space, that have experienced a lot of the BS that all of us that's been in this space for a while have experienced. And then, you know, when you talk about, you know, then when you come to the fact that, okay, I'm going to start my own project, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this right. And uh, I, I see you, man, you guys are, hey, checking off all the marks for all the right stuff, man. You, you guys are handling business uh, properly and and big round of applause for you guys and big round of applause for, for the developers of, of I mean, dude, this this metaverse, uh, <laughs> it is so cool. You know, this ain't, you know, your your little 2D Flappy Bird uh, <laughs> reskin. You know, um, what you guys have built is 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 really amazing. Um, I don't know if you would uh, if you have time to uh, maybe uh, share your screen for a second. I'm obviously I can't because my uh, my. Um, uh, Wi-Fi is garbage here, and I'm I'm afraid if I open up another window, uh, I will just get disconnected. <laughs> no, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try right now. I was actually trying. I thought it'd be cool if while you guys were talking, I kind of popped it up and surprised you, but I didn't get it quick enough. I'm working on it right now. I, I should have it up in a minute or so. That is awesome. So, um, you know, while we're waiting, uh, just just a a quick thing. So, why? Why, uh, you know, build a city on an island versus just a, a just wide open space of just like nothingness? Why, why, why the whole island effect? One, you know, I, I hate speaking for a majority, but uh, if you came up with a paradise, majority of people's paradise, I would believe, would be in some type of island slash concept, right? Uh, so the in, in addition to that, the island gives us a different things we can do you know with water different things our our animators can come up with with different concepts and it, it smooths together advice for one big uh land area mass having an island with more of a tropical set um it gives you you know boats planes you know different type of trees uh it gives us more options what we can do and uh, you know our, our metaverse is vast you know really big if you compare it uh to what a lot of people are familiar with grand theft auto 5 uh, we're roughly about one fifth the, the map size of that. So uh, the beta That's we're steadily amazing. building. If you see where we were, if you see where we were at, you know, eight months ago, vice where we're at today. I mean, it's like wow. And and then like once, trust me, once it's, it's, we go, once it's playable for everybody, right at the at the pre sale, you're gonna see all the things inside of it, and it's just so amazing. I literally every time I see it, I just sit back and smile because I feel like. I feel like a father, you know, like proud yeah, of the, and of the I can hear it in your voice, man. I can <laughs> Man, uh, like I say, dude, the, uh, it looks like a lot of effort was taken into this. I mean, eat from from the floor to the ceiling to the artwork that's on the walls. Um so right, you know, just just right here in in the casino. Uh so this will this have like a uh, do have a little bit of like play to earn type stuff going on in here. Yeah, you're cutting out a little bit, but I, I think I understood you. Yeah, so the casino, um, we're, we're, there is going to be games uploaded to you see as the, the slot machine that you see there, and there's going to be uh, other little functions within the casino itself, similar to a a real casino. You know, it won't just be one game; it'll be different variations of it. Bye. Right, nice, nice. That is awesome. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. I man, I can't wait to uh to finally uh. Uh, hop in and and experience this for myself. Uh, as soon as I get home tomorrow, uh, I will. That's one of the first things I plan to do is to hop into this and get get some uh, some some play time, man. Because uh, like I said, I'll, compared to a lot of other stuff that has been uh, released, 
um you know especially when you release you know when some of these others have released things very very quickly you can tell that not a lot of work has gone into it so when you have something that's fully functional like this already out showing people hey we have the time into this we spent the money on this you know we aren't just waiting on your funds we've already built and we are already continuing to build on what we have already so you know that that is something amazing that that you guys have going on with this yes yeah, that is one of my oh, favorite wow. areas right there oh the shrine yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah oh uh, what was you saying no, I was gonna say, you know, it's um, no one is, no one pretends, no one is the, uh, is the smartest person or came up with everything. You know, a lot of it is um, off of community input, off of input from other people that's been in this space, and you kind of you listen to, you know, you listen to them, you make it into your own ideas, and you create a, you know, a phase length. Uh, yeah, you know, absolutely. To, put, to move forward and develop develop your own personal vision, and that's kind of what we've done here, and you know, we've all came together with all of our expert expertise and experiences in crypto and kind of just pushed this project forward. And I don't believe we're even 10% of the way done of, as far as what, where we want to be. But at the same time, you have to acknowledge of where you came from. And trust me, I, I'm, like I said before, I'm really, really proud of that. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, so like, you know, with the community involvement and everything like that, you know, so this is going to be operate, you know, uh, a lot of the decisions will be gone gone through for with the DAO. So, uh, what, can you kind of just go over the process of how uh, how people can submit their their um, you know maybe their suggestions or whatnot? How that can be voted on? Oh, everything will be done through our website. Um, the DAO is pretty much done. It's it's not live yet. Obviously, we we haven't launched, but um, essentially to go off of your tokens, uh, how much tokens you hold. Uh, and that kind of ties into the percentage of your vote. So if, you know, if someone holds 5 million tokens and the other one holds, you know, 2.5 million tokens, the person with 5 million tokens percentage of vote out outweighs the 2.5 million. Um, not doesn't say that every vote doesn't count, but, you know, it, it, it shows like the direction majority of the project and, you know, what are they voting on? Yeah, I, and and I, I definitely believe in that. Especially, you know, if 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 I'm going to take my, you know, say if I I was to take my five thousand dollars and invest into this, and you know somebody else was to invest five dollars, you know, obviously I would be more heavily invested. You know, it's it's just part of the game. You know, you 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 when you are heavily invested into a project as an investor, you you know your voice is genuinely more more often than not it's it's uh it's heard a little bit louder than those that are in it just to uh especially when you're talking about tokens you know you, you get a lot of people that are in and out in and out you know especially with low numbers but um yeah i really like the direction that you guys have have going on with that um so um um is is there any anything that you would like to uh uh you know, comment on anything we may have missed so far. I mean, I know this is just a just a, a general introduction into uh, what Metapolitans is, how you guys got started, and and uh, leading up to uh, the the presale. Uh, yes, you know, I, I encourage people. You know, I'm not here to sell you on my, our our project or on the project at all. Um, I'm I'm here to speak about it. So I encourage people. You know, hey, come and Telegram. Uh, whatever questions you have, our mods are highly trained um ask our mods feel free to dm me if you if you've got a you know a resume if you've got a suggestion please dm me uh, a lot of it's spam so if i don't get right back to you just re dm me um and we will do our best to educate you or answer any questions that you you may have because a lot of times there are people that come from other platforms that have the same level of experience or higher um that make good points and good suggestions that may otherwise wasn't thought about um, so, you know, if you're the part, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room, you know, so you yes. always have to be open to listening to people. That's awesome, man. I'm, I'm glad to hear you guys say that. So, um, I think we had a couple things in the chat said, uh, you know, we've got a couple people in there. I think Maddie said, uh, is this, yeah, I think it's on pink. Uh, it'll be on a uh, pink sale. Yeah, correct. Uh, you can just go to, go to the website. And uh, make sure you guys, hey, make sure you guys go do, 
before you invest you know like he just said not trying to sell you on anything before you invest you know don't go out and, and just because you hear pre-sale go out and pawn your car pawn your you know whatever the case may be make sure you go to the website and make sure you read this white paper so the white paper is very very detailed it's very very thought out it has different sections that you can click on make sure you go through and read the white paper not enough people do that and then they just get mad because they don't know what the project's about. They just ate into it, just thinking it was just going to make them millionaires overnight. Please, everyone, go to the white paper. And, you know, if it's right for you, you can invest. If not, you know, you can just, hey, you would still be able to uh, to enjoy the metaverse once it's uh, public release comes out. And then there you go. Then you can see for yourself um, what type of investment this might be for you. So, <laughs> I always tell people, you know, don't don't just stop aping into stuff. You know, make sure they, they go do some due diligence on your part and go to the website, thoroughly go through the website, and then make sure you absolutely read this white paper because you know a lot of your questions can be answered just by just doing a little bit of reading, especially if you want to throw money at something, you need to read some stuff. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. But uh so with that being said, uh, so is, is there anything you want uh, you'd like to, to say in closing or? Uh, no, I just, one, I would like to say for everybody listening, thank you for the support uh, directly or indirectly. Even watching, you know, your videos is, is a level of support to me. And, you know, if you guys are potential investors. I would love to, you know, uh, build a community with you um, myself. I don't want to speak for Don, but I'm sure he couldn't agree more at the same time. Justin, Omar, Fifi, the rest of our team and all of our mods and the community we've already built uh, over the last couple of months. I mean, trust me, we plan to add to that. And this is not the, if you are one of the people that are looking to just swing trade, this is not the project for you. This is something no. that's going to have sustainment and be built. And hopefully, you know what, we can assist in changing the world. Yeah. I'd like to piggyback on top of that as well as having way too much fun in our, in our metaverse right now is just playing around way too much. Um, but yeah, hopefully it was a good look for everyone. Uh, but yeah, Dragon Rider, I really appreciate that you try to teach people the mechanics too. I, you know, we, we know that you're hyped about this project and it's nice that you still, you know, try to teach people with your channel. So that's really, really great of you. Um, there's so much bad going on in this space. You know, you, it, it's sad what happens to a lot of people, you know, and, and there's yes. the it's tough to find the education, you know, especially when you first start out and you kind of learn by error. Uh, I did at least. Yeah. Um, and so it's nice that there's people like you trying to, trying to teach people as well. And so even a project like this, it's uh, commendable that you, you know, you're hyped for it. Um, obviously, you know, uh, you, you support it, but then you're, you're still teaching them how to go out and do the, you know, due diligence. So it's nice to walk through yes. that. Mechanic. So I appreciate you for that for sure. And then obviously, Absolutely. you know, we, we also feel very confident sitting over here, hoping that they'll come do the due diligence. You know, there's only so much we can give them here um, in these 30 minutes. And so, yeah, yes. we're looking forward to everyone coming by, stopping by. We're always available. You know, like Marlux uh, always says, we're always available at, at all hours, at all times. Ask us anything. We're very transparent. Um, you know, we're here to build. And so we're here to try to do this the right way. Um, and, and we've shown that so far and, and we're going to continue to show that. So. I uh, just really appreciate being here and, and anyone who's listening, obviously. So thank you. And Absolutely. Dragon, I must ask, Dragon Rider, you, maybe your community knows this, but I don't know this. Why Dragon Rider? Is it just a fantasy or what is it? Yeah, so look, all right. So I am, man, I'm a really big fan of, of medieval times. I really like the whole knights in shining armor, you know, uh, knights at the round table, King Arthur. Like I'm big, I'm really big into the whole lore and then especially with dragons that being this mythical creature you know i've always wanted to be one of those you know i as a kid you know i, I dreamed that i was going to meet a dragon and be able to ride it off into the sky so you know that that was my uh <laughs> that's been my name for a long time it was actually my gamer tag for for a very long time so i just i just ran with it so i you know i'm a big fan of dragons man <laughs> okay I another, love it. another 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 quick side question for you who was your favorite knight at the round table? Oh man. Um I don't know, it's hard to say. 
I like Lance a lot, first personally. I mean, just the story behind it. I don't know, man. It's it's all you know. It, and you know what? I'm gonna be and you know I'm gonna be honest with you. So it's not necessarily the Knights that that's my biggest fan. I'm a big fan of. I'm a big fan of of Merlin, uh, because um, <laughs> magic, magic. You, you know, being able to just like ah, you know. And- <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, man. I, man, I love magic. I wish that you know, in our in our universe or whatever, that we had access to magic and could do magical things. But you know, whatever. You know, I can still dream. <laughs> there you go. All right, man. Hey, well, I really appreciate you guys stopping through and being very, very patient. I know I I started late and work, and you know, now I'm Wi-Fi. This craziness stuff. <laughs> Yeah, but don't, I, don't, don't worry about that at all. You're fine. Yeah, don't worry about yeah. that. <laughs> but uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming by. Hey, everyone, thank you for stopping by and checking out Metapolitans. Make sure you do your due diligence. You go to the website. The website has all of the links to all their socials. You can go to uh, the Twitter. You can go to uh, the – when. oh, here's a question. So when will the YouTube uh, channel be up? Because uh, there's a link for it, but it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, YouTube channel, you should see it up next week. Um, okay. Yeah, we. it was one of the things we wanted to get initiated. We have, like, really, you know, all the influencers that are pushing our, our stuff out right now. But our own channel will be up as well, too. And that's just we provide content. All the content that we provide to all the influencers will also be on the YouTube. So whenever an investor, they miss something or they miss the Telegram, they miss the AMA, they can always go to the YouTube and pull all the content directly from that. Fantastic. And like I say, you, you you just heard it from from the horse's mouth. So you know, hey, make sure you go to all the links. You check out all the socials. Uh, you can see that this isn't some botted accounts that's just you know just ran by just you know just crazy people trying to just get people to to join. Uh, these are you know all their stuffs verified. You can go and check everything. Go to the Telegram. Talk with people. Chatting actually gets you a lot of information, whether you realize it or not. Just just random conversation, you'll you'll get a lot of information that you you wouldn't necessarily have. So uh, make sure you get all the information, and if this is right for you, pre-sale is coming up. So uh, with that being said, uh, I appreciate you guys coming through tonight. I appreciate everybody that stopped through the channel. Uh, do me a favor if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that subscribe subscribe button. So I, say, I couldn't even say it. And uh, we'll see you later. Thank you, Dragon Rider. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you, you Dragon too. Rider. Thank you, community. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man. I still go. Go, 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 go. It's a lot of fill every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave Through the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit